Thank you for tuning in to the Helium Radio Network. You were listening to a rebroadcast of a previously recorded show. Peaceful Warriors Wellness. Feel better, move better, be better. When you feel better, you feel more like you. And when you move better, there's so much you can do. Be who you were meant to be. Peaceful Warriors Wellness. So welcome again to the Feel Better, Move Better, Be Better podcast, broadcast live here from the Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center in downtown St. Petersburg. Um, and on our first episode, we had a chance to interview one of the owners, Scott Roberts, who's based here in St. Petersburg, and Lena. Now we have the opportunity to interview as well. And Lena, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, we heard in the last episode that you're not a Tampa native as well. No, I was born and raised in North Carolina. I lived in the same county for 42 years. Wow. I... Um, was in nursing for 20 plus years. I um, always knew that I needed to be helping people. Um, when I was 14 years old, I became a volunteer in the hospital. I was a candy striper because I was just drawn to helping people um, and loved it, loved working in the hospital. And then whenever I was in my 40s and my children grew up and left me, I was like, what What does Lena want to do? And uh, I went through a lot of self-inflection, uh, reflection, excuse me, and remembered that, you know, when I was in nursing school, the first thing they taught us how to do was give baths and rub feet. And then one day it was like, Massage therapists get paid a lot of money to basically do the same thing. Let me look into that. And then I found all the different things that you could do as a massage therapist. And I really had gotten disillusioned with modern medicine about it's it's all take, peel, fix problem. And it doesn't work that way most of the time. And I wanted a different way to be healthy. And massage therapy was a very good way to get into the holistic treatment. And so I moved to Florida and went to school at Corteva in Pinellas Park. Now it's here in St. Petersburg. And met my husband, Scott, in school. Oh, you guys met in school? We met in school. Aw. <laughs> we did. That's awesome. That's a love story there. Yeah. So, I uh, we, we really didn't have anything to do with each other in school because he was three months ahead of me. And uh, when I, at that time, I was living in Temple Terrace. And so I started renting a room from a chiropractor in North Tampa. And it seemed like every time that I went to do any kind of event or I wanted to do any kind of activity, Scott was already there. He was already doing it. He was always like one step ahead of me. And so I was like, let me just find out exactly what he's doing. <laughs> find out who this guy is. Yes, yes. And before you know it, we realized that even though our approaches and techniques are completely different, we still have a very close connection of what our ultimate goal is. Well, I mean, just by talking to you guys and knowing you personally, you both live your passions for helping others and making others feel better. Yes. And, I mean, no matter what you guys know, modality-wise or how you treat people, your ultimate goal is exactly the same. Yes, it it, it, it is. And it's, it's so surprising at how our approach is so much different, but our end result is always very same. close to the same. Well, That's the awesome. first ingredient is always caring. Yeah. And, you know, and... and, and a lot of times people, and I try to remember this when I talk to people about the modalities that I know and or that Lena knows, and uh, nobody cares what you know or how much you know until they know how much you care. Yeah. And uh, so that's something that we do uh, very well in Lena, especially in spades, um, is very caring. So in, in talking about that, in the last episode, we learned a little bit about your modalities and how you treat patients, Scott. Let's talk a little bit about how you do, Lena, because since you guys are, are – 
so varied, as you just said. Tell us a little bit about your, your modalities and, and what you focus on. I have been trained in the myofascial release and the neuromuscular therapy. Um, and and that's where the basics of, of all of my techniques come back from because that's what I know. Um, but I do, I incorporate medicupping, which is a form of cupping, but it uses a machine and it can do the pulsing instead of the static hold that cupping does. So it's much less likely to leave those hickey marks that are left with the cupping. Well, those are the best part. So people think you did something bad and dangerous because you've exactly. got purple circles all over you. Exactly. <laughs> um, I kind of feel like that if it's causing capillary damage on the skin, it's also causing capillary damage in the muscle. And I go back to the first do no harm. So if I can get the same results without doing harm, that's what I'm going to go for. Am I correct in understanding that um, a hickey or a cut mark isn't necessarily damaging the capillaries like a bruise would from blunt force trauma? It's exactly. It's still, still drawing the fluid out, but it's not actually breaking it, is it? Yes, it does. Okay. But but that's the purpose of it, doing it. And, and I don't even, I won't go in to explain the techniques of doing that and why the Chinese medicine does it. But there is a purpose, just like with the grass, and you know, it, you are expected to have a little bit of redness, and it's the same principle there that I, I I don't practice myself, so I'm not going to speak on. But I do with the medi cupping. It's a very much lighter, um, softer approach that gets excellent results from anywhere from the athlete that is the gym rat that's working out six days a week to the person that sits at a desk and their activity level is walking to the bathroom so so really i mean what what i'm taking away from the conversation last week with scott and yours today even though you guys have different approaches and different techniques you guys can really help anybody yes any anybody yes that's amazing i also do use the reflexology which is an awesome approach to for me, is learning how to assess people. Um, I'm assessing you from the time that you walk through my door to the time that you lay down on my table. I'm assessing your walk, your what you're describing of what your pain is. And the reflexology really helps me help you and you help yourself. It's impressive. So... Let's talk a little bit about, you know, your, your nursing. You started by saying, you know, you worked in the nursing and the hospital industry for many years. What's the treatment been like? I mean, obviously you've seen a lot in that many years working in that in, uh, arena. What's it like to go from that methodology of treatment to having your own practice and be able to do this? Is it completely different? It was. It was really, really hard. And I'm so thankful that the massage industry in, as a whole in Florida is so supportive of each other. Um there, there is a lot of, before it was through the FSMTA that I found my, um, whenever I worked in the hospital, so you worked in critical care most of the time, but every once in a while you would have someone that would come in that would just have a, you know, a knee replacement or gastric bypass or something like that that is not something that you've ever really worked on. So you could call up to the knee floor, the orthopedic floor, and you can say, hey, tell me a little bit about what you do with the knee replacement. You know, how do you treat this? And it was so much more of a team effort of let me help you. And a lot of other industries, that is not, that does not happen in yes. massage, I mean, in other industries. In massage therapy, it's all about helping you help others. That's so if I had someone, you know, yeah, I haven't ever had anyone that has this connective tissue disorder. You can call up your friends, and now on Facebook, there's so many groups on there. You can say, hey, give me some tips on this, or is this out of my league? You know, what what can I do with this? And that camaraderie, camaraderie is so, so wonderful in the massage therapy industry. Well, it's got to be really fulfilling i mean to be able to help others and then if you in most cases like you said the medical industry you know you won't see another doctor call another doctor going hey you know i got this weird case in here can you help me you know but if you can call another massage therapist for assistance and, and go through that's pretty yes. powerful yes really is 
Um, so we're almost to our first commercial break here, but um, before we, we go to break, was there any other modalities that we missed or did we, did we touch on all of them? And I also use these Himalayan salt stones. Well, well, hold that thought. We're going to take our commercial break. When we come back, we're going to talk about Himalayan salt stones, learn a little bit more about them. You're listening to the Feel Better, Move Better, Be Better podcast, broadcast here live from the Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center in downtown St. Petersburg. And we'll be back after this quick break. Hey, Eric Rimmel here, producer of the Feel Better, Move Better, Be Better podcast, and I'm here today to tell you about the amazing folks at Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center. Not only am I a producer of the show, but I'm also a client. Their staff of therapists are truly the best at what they do. Now is your chance to check them out for yourself. Go to their website, PeacefulWarriorsWellness.com, and click book now, or give them a call at 727-822-8866. Use the promo code radio and get $15 off your first visit. Yes, you heard me right. $15 $15 off your first visit. Now, this is just for a limited time, and make sure to tell them that you heard about it on heliumradio.com. And we're back. You're listening to the Feel Better, Move Better, Be Better podcast, broadcast from the Peace Warriors Wellness Center in downtown St. Pete. I'm your producer, Eric Rummel, and I'm joined by the co-hosts, Lena and Scott Roberts. And today we're learning all about Lena and what her expertise and background is. Um, and before we begin, if anyone wants to find out more about you, Lena, is there a way they can do that? Yes. You can go to our website at www.peacefulwarriorswellness.com. And you can click on About Us, and it tells a little bit about all of the therapists, but I'm the first one that comes up with You're the most important, so you got to be at the top, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, we heard from Scott in the last episode that, you know, he frequents the Saturday morning market. Are you out there with him, too? I'm out there with him. Um, I have, um, I'm in a 350-hour training for reflexology that is one weekend a month. So Scott's out there at Saturday morning market a little bit more often than I am. Um, but I love the Saturday morning market. It is probably one of my favorite places of St. Petersburg. It's really neat if you, if you guys never had opportunity. Um, and I haven't been in years. Um, and it's mainly just cause I'm, I'm usually busy on Saturdays, you know, with life and everything else going on, but I, I do miss going. It's a lot of, a lot of fun. Uh, but before we went to the break, we were just learning a little bit more about some other modalities that you use. You said, uh, Himalayan salt stones were something that, that you use frequently here in the practice. Yes. I used Himalayan salt stones because with certain people, the salt really resonates with them. It calms and soothes. And with a lot of people, you know, you say, I want to go to the beach and sit at the beach. With the Himalayan salt stones, <clears throat> I have them in the room, all around the room. But I always, u- I also use them in the massage. I use it like the stones. They're, they're sanded down to where they, you can massage with them. And it always calms you down so much more than just a regular massage and all of these things with me when you come into my office you're probably going to get some stones put on some hot stones on you the Himalayan salt stones you're probably going to get some essential oils put on you you're probably going to have I use a lot of the the heated warm weights Mm. um I I I like the weights I like because whenever you're really anxious that kind of calms you down a little bit more, sedates you a little bit more. So in listening to the way that some of the products and services that you use in your massages versus Scott, for example, as we heard in the last episode, uh, you're more of a spa, relaxation, still have the same you know processes and procedures with massage to get someone well, where Scott comes from more of a, a functional like methodology, like sports type background. Absolutely. She uses a lot of hot towels as well. I use a lot of hot towels. I, I, I use... I feel like in order for myself to get into any kind of therapeutic massage, I have to calm everything down to be able to receive that. Because I I am kind of a high-stress person. Don't say anything. (laughs) No, no, no. No no comments. For those of you guys that are listening right now, I'm sitting right across with two of these, and they're making faces at each other. (laughs) What is nice is is, uh, Lena does a great job of attracting people that are like her and really benefit from the approach that she does have. So... What is nice about massage therapy, and I'm sorry to hijack you a little bit here, is that not everybody is the right therapist for every person. And both of us are very different, as Lena said earlier. 
but that's a good thing because there are clients that need what she does. Let's, let's touch on that for a minute. So I know in my experience in the past, you know, some folks aren't comfortable with same sex or opposite sex massage therapists. Now there's nothing wrong with that. That's just their comfort level. But do you guys see that a lot in your practice, especially, you know, both being male and female? Absolutely. Um, and it is a personal preference and we have two male therapists and four female therapists here for that very reason. Um, because, some people only like opposite sex. Some people only like same sex. And it's a personal choice, and you should be able to choose whatever that is right for you. Makes sense. It's always better, in my, in my opinion, to use the word gender. Yep. Uh, I, just because uh, there's nothing sexual about anything that we do in our office. Everything is very therapeutic and, and uh, oriented towards uh, health and wellness as opposed to anything else that you might find in the less reputable establishments. But well, let's touch on that for a minute. So there, you often see a lot of times in the news where there's less reputable establishments getting in trouble with the law and things like that. Um, in your facility, everybody's licensed. Everybody's insured. You guys you know, have a facility license. All the legal dot your I's and cross your T's, you know, all the legal structures that you guys need here. Absolutely. Um, and what's, what's I found really interesting is you guys are very well versed in the law. We've had a few conversations just – Um, in passing about certain things and, you know, talking about facility licenses and things and conversations past. And you guys are really well versed with knowing what's legal, what's not legal, how to handle things and the appropriate sanitation levels and proper things, proper, you know, uh, things that you have to have in the rooms or not to have in the rooms. It's pretty interesting to know you guys have have really well, uh, I don't want to say thought this out, but you've really well researched everything that you need to do as far as the facility is concerned and And, and how to push forward. And I really hate to say it this way, but it really is the truth is that There's really not that many things that you have to do in the state of Florida to be a massage therapist establishment. There's really not. Saying that, it's really sad that there are so many places out there that do not follow these very simple, very simple, very few rules. Well, uh, to touch on that a little bit, um, you know, if if someone wanted to find out information, isn't there websites or things like that they can go to online to find more information about... The Florida State Board of Health is who governs all massage therapy establishments. Yep. There's a board of massage therapy through the Department of Health website. Yes. Yep. Awesome. Well, getting back to your modalities and your background, I, I think you said you're learning reflex reflexology currently? Yes. So tell okay. us a little bit more about what that's going to add to the practice. Reflexology, um, I have a therapist, Catherine Williams, that is also um, doing the reflexology training with me. I started doing it. About six months ago, and she was like, I really like what you're doing. It's really feels like it could be home with me, and so she's joined me also. But it will bring into this office a huge level of assessment and a level of being able to work on people that cannot have full body massage, cannot lay on the table can you know because this way we will do um we will be able to work your hands your feet your face your ears you don't have to get undressed it can be a um a standalone treatment or it can be incorporated into a massage the reflexology is been around forever and so everyone has their own takes on it The way that we are learning it and the way we are practicing it is from a much more subtle approach than from the Chinese medicine kind that's really deep tissue, push button, fix issue. Ours is not. Ours really helps your body and your mind communicate much better together. Well, it sounds like just another feather in the hat, so to speak. You know, just another... Another Another tool in your belt. tool in my toolbox, yes. Well, that's awesome. Well, we're almost out of time here uh, for this episode, but uh, coming up in the next episode, we're going to talk a little bit more about the facility, what you guys do, where you're located, all the different specialties you have. Um, Again, if somebody wanted to find out more information about you, website's best place? Website, Facebook, or give us a call. What's that phone number? 727-822-8866. Well, thanks again. You've been listening to the Feel Better, Move Better, Be Better podcast broadcast from the Peaceful Warriors Wellness Center in downtown St. Pete. Um, As always, uh, thanks for tuning in. In our next episode, we're going to talk a little bit more about the facility and learn about what they do here. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.
Thank you for listening to Helium Radio. The views expressed by show hosts or their guests are their own and should not be construed in any way as advice from Helium Radio. We make no recommendations or endorsements for radio show programs, services, or products mentioned on air or on our website. Personal perspectives expressed by producers, writers, and editors will always be presented as such. Any rebroadcast or retransmission without the express written consent of Helium Radio is strictly prohibited. Thanks for listening.